With our Kato boards, we can teach all sorts of really cool behaviors, including teaching our dogs to go to a place so that when we're cooking in the kitchen, they stay out of the kitchen, or if we have guests over the house, they're not jumping all over our guests. We can also teach them to stay. So if we are in a place like our kids' soccer game and they're really excited about the kids running around, we can teach them to stay on their board so that they're not tempted by that distraction. We can also teach our dogs to heal, to walk with us through crowds and, and pass all sorts of other distractions. And we also can teach our dogs behaviors like recalls and leave it so that our dog is a model citizen. Now the first step of teaching any of these behaviors begins with teaching our dogs to love their Kato board. And we want them going to it because they know it's going to be a great thing for them. So in order to do that, we're going to shape the behavior of going to the board. Now what this means is it's got to be our dog's choice to go to that board rather than us prompting them by luring them on it with a treat or pulling them onto it with their leash or collar. Now to shape this, any dog can shape this behavior. All you need is a bunch of small little treats so that our dog isn't eating too much and getting full. You need a hungry dog that's ready to train and a distraction-free environment. Now I love to train in my basement, that way I don't have family members moving around. All my other dogs are put out of the way so that my dog can really focus on their task at hand. The next thing you need to do is choose a marker word. And what a marker is, is that it's a sound that tells their dog that they did the correct thing and a reward is coming their way. A lot of people just use the word yes. I use yes as well. However, I also have a few other marker words I like to use. So you'll hear me using words like good. That tells my dog they did the right thing. I'm delivering a treat to them. They can stay on their Kato board. And then I might use a word that like get it, which means I want to toss a cookie. They can go ahead and get off the Kato board and chase down that treat. I'm going to throw them. All right, so I'm ready to train. I have my puppy. He is nice and hungry. I have a whole bunch of rewards, little, little tiny bite-sized treats, and I have my Kato board. So the second I put this down, he's probably going to sniff it. I'm going to go ahead and mark and reward that. Make sure he's paying attention though before I do that. There he is. So as long as he's on that board, I can keep rewarding it, and I can toss that tree to get him off so that we can start all over again. Now he's gonna sniff around a little bit. He's gonna look around, that's okay. The second he comes back, I can go ahead and mark and reward that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's good treats. Yes, get it. Toss that treat out. And because I'm standing here looking at the board, odds are he'll come back, yes, and try to put a paw on it, which is exactly what he did, yes. Get it. Good job. Yes, nice work. Yes, yes, get it. You notice how you came back and put all four feet on? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yes, yes, good boy. And there, that's it we were get, hoping for. Yes, get it. The next step is to start to vary my location. So instead of standing right next to the board like I did in the beginning, I'm going to start standing a little bit further away and a little bit further so that now it's not that go to stand in front of me or go sit in front of me. Instead, it's go to the board specifically no matter where I'm standing. So that's it. That's how we teach our dogs to love the Kato board. From here, we can start to introduce distance to work on go to your place, adding more duration to work on stay, bringing it to new places so that our dogs learn to have manners no matter where they are or working on it just in our house if we're eating dinner or cooking in the kitchen or having guests over. Tons of uses for that Kato board now that our dogs absolutely love it. Remember, when you are teaching this, have fun with your dog. Keep those sessions nice and short. Make sure to end on a good note and make sure that you and your dog are both having fun.